Now we're filming. Hi. 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 So today we're eating food. Yay, a mukbang. Mm. Bonus spare ribs. Wonton soup. Let's see, what are we eating? Yes. Tostones! Um, what? Now, what is a tostone for us? Divide plantain. White people. And they squish it. And they didn't put any salt, which makes me sad, so I'll fix that. Fried dumplings. I'm no veg? Oh, then this is. Oh, mine. it's the chicken lo mein. For Danny Boy. No veg. Oh my vegetables. god, I just got it on my forehead. Because he's allergic to vegetables. I was a chicken tender kid. It's like that's all you all I ate. Comment below if you were a chicken tender kid. You went out to the restaurant so, and so all I you can ate shame you. Which chicken tenders? This is a lot of food in here. This is a maybe so. This is a number forty three. Pork fried, fried rice. This is a lot of food. This is we should preface this by saying that we this isn't all for us, but we're gonna get started on it. Yeah. This is white rice. Don't do that. What? Don't talk to the camera, not to me. I'm the one. I here. don't know what you're talking about. White rice. What the fuck That's is this? House lo mein. House? You got yourself house lo mein? Yeah. I like vegetables. I don't know what a vegetable is, but those little crackers for the um, wonton soup. They're gross. And they thought this was for a large party. <laughs> So they gave us like 15 fortune cookies, but really they only should have given us two. If you like sauce, I don't use any of the sauce. I don't use any of the sauce. And I don't know either. anybody who does. And you're gross if you do. Comment below if you're a disgusting bitch. If you use duck sauce, go fuck yourself. All right, I'm getting started on this lo mein. Let's fuck Are up we our supposed life. to show the food too or no? It doesn't matter. I don't know. Who cares though? If you've ever done a mukbang, comment below. Comment below. <laughs> Let us know if we're doing it okay. I already know it. What this video is gonna be called? It's gonna be called "Comment Below." <laughs> and if you like us. big dicks, if you like big dicks, comment below. <laughs> also sponsor me. If you like to comment below, please comment below. Mmm. Oh, these are bomb. Mmm. All right. Mmm. -hmm. I feel like this is all like one big trigger video for Peter. And I'm done. Thank what? you. I'm so full. <laughs> I know I said just a few minutes ago that I don't use the sauce, but I'm gonna use this sauce. Yeah, but that's different. That's like the wonton sauce. sauce, or like yeah. the... It's just soy sauce, I think. Yeah, whatever, it's just like that. People find these enjoyable. Mukbangs? Yeah. Well, you watch these? They've, I mean, YouTubers find them enjoyable because they don't have to edit. <laughs> so true. You just put it up. I mean, you can edit. I am going to edit. Yeah, Please. you should. Don't be like a Trisha Paytas. And... No, I'm not Trisha Paytas. Well, we probably have a lot of similarities. You and Trisha Paytas? Oh, yeah. No, do you watch her? No, but I'm about to start, I think. She's, um, and me and Ashley really enjoy her because, mm -hmm. um. She's a disaster, right? She's, uh, uh and, and in our opinion, we don't know her. We don't, we are not medical professionals. But in our very humble opinion, we think she might be bipolar. Might be. I don't even watch her. She cries she a is. lot. She cries a lot on camera for like. I feel like all I time. see is like her videos are always called another mental breakdown, and it's like mm -hmm. her crying. It's sad that um, getting my ass her own, her own exploitation. She exploits herself. Yeah, she's like, oh, I can use me in a dirty way to make money. I guess she we're. I guess we're doing that in a way, but it's for each other. Look at this. I'm gonna use a tostone. To, to pick up, to pick up rice <laughs> and eat it like, <laughs> like the rice is a dip. Take a fucking dip, babes. <laughs> so me and Rob watched the cinematic masterpiece, The Boy Next Door, last night, for the twentieth time. Yeah, as as I like the penultimate goodbye to me, essentially. Mm-hmm. Because now, when will we ever watch it together? The second I come to the second San Diego. To San Diego yeah. Wait, will you guys just look at my background? It's oh. a poster for the boy oh. next door. <sighs> Noah Sanborn. Noah Sanborn. I wish you would love me the way you love JLo. I wish you'd have my firstborn, Noah Sanborn. <laughs> I will say, I feel like I haven't approached the subject of me moving in a video yet. Yeah, you haven't. I haven't so like, talked about it. So those of you who don't it. know. So for those of you who don't know, 
I'm moving to San Diego, California, from from here. We're not gonna, we're gonna add that out for you, but. You don't want people to know where your family is? No. I love my family and don't want them murdered, so. That was the wrong address. You wanted to do that on purpose, right? Oh, what's your, what's your address? Stupid. DuPont? No, I said you're so stupid. Oh, thanks. It's a beautiful day and most people would be like at a park or like we're inside eating. All my videos are gonna be mukbangs from now on. Yeah, this is very fun. Merry Christmas. Mukbang. I can't wait for Korea to call me a big, I'm sorry, we don't like you at all. Please stop doing anything involved with us. Stop doing that. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop it. Come on now. Do you guys like me with, with or without a beard? Comment below. I'm all thirsty. Should we? Oh yeah. Let's, do you want me to get us some Dr. Peppers? I got it. One second. Oh fuck! Wow, where'd these come from? Wait, what should we talk about? The state of the economy. Shut up. How do you feel <laughs> about your big move? For real though, because it's like I'm about to. I, when I get on this train home, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Um, like I'm not gonna cry in front of you for sure. Okay. And I feel like we're gonna That's see fair. each other soon. Yeah. Because we we talk all the time. Mm hmm And FaceTime is a thing. Mm hmm So that's not a huge deal. And there's channels a thing. And the channel. So we see each other every week. Mm hmm Just in a weird way. It's different. Like we already aren't seeing each other in person that much. Anymore. Yeah. Exactly. So I feel like it won't be that bad. Not much really has changed in no. the regard. Yeah. I'm actually really excited for you. Thank you. This is your big push out of the nest. Oh, I just can't wait for you to like spread your wings like a little gay bird. And suck my dick. Yeah, I mean, you already suck my dick. But yeah, but I'm gonna suck so much more now. It's gonna be great. I recently cut back. My dick diet was through the roof. Well, here's my thing is I think that gay social media platforms, for me specifically, were toxic to my well-being. I felt like they were not, um, I'm not one of those people who can go on it um, casually. Mm -hmm. Like I, if I'm on it, I'm on it the whole day. Like, I will waste a day just trying to get attention. I won't even meet guys. It's just like the, the instant gratification of attention from others was what I was going after with mm -hmm. it. Wow. I know, I'm getting really down to the nitty gritty, but. Yeah, damn. Psychologically break that shit down. And I felt like I, it was detrimental to my mental health. So I deleted all of them because I was like, if I have one, I'm just gonna open the pathway down. Yeah, there. so I deleted all of mine. <laughs> no, I just felt like it was bad for my mental health, so I like had to delete it, delete all of them. And I feel amazing. It's been like three weeks. Oh wow! I feel awesome. That's a positive story. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, I feel like I've always, and this is why I tell people all the time, because mm -hmm. it's true. Because I don't expect to find love, or I, I'm not ever gonna hook up with anyone on gay social media, but. Being in Connecticut where I don't see homosexuals every day, or any suburban area really, where you don't see homosexuals every day, you kind of forget that other homosexuals exist. Mm -hmm. And so I, that's when I'll open up Grindr, Tinder. So that's it, just Grindr and Tinder. Yeah, just kind of be like, oh wait, I'm not the only gay person here. There's mm -hmm. one 5,236 feet away. I feel like you're not on social media that much. Mm -hmm. And it well, doesn't no, no. run your world, no. which is interesting to me. That's because I have a crippling addiction to World of Warcraft. <laughs> and that's what I'm spending my time on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna be honest and we're gonna be real about it, it's because I play a lot of video games. I love video games and I will not stop playing them. So you're like, while other people are scrolling on Facebook, blah, 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 I'm killing bad bitches and you know, Overwatch. Or like, be your legends. So I have a different addiction. And it's not better, it's not worse. See, I have to say, that's one of the only things that I think, oh, I wish I sort of got into that, is video games. Now I wouldn't, I wouldn't even It's never know. too late. 
Yeah, but I feel like it's such a commitment. You have to go buy a thing, and that's a hundred, two hundred dollars. How much mm -hmm. is a Xbox One or something? I think mine was like three hundred. Yeah, like I'm not doing that because I think I might want to start playing like. Because I think Tetris. I might want to start playing Tetris. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna do that now. But yeah, you don't like Tetris? Understood. Heard. So what are your goals for, for San Diego, realistically? Like, what do you think? Week one, I want to see a penis. That's a very easy goal. Yeah. Yeah, so. Who knows, maybe I'll come right back after. Who knows? No, but I really want to find a job right away. But make sure you don't find it too soon. I know that's probably the opposite advice that everyone else would give you. Yeah, I'm like, talk to my wallet. About <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I felt like I didn't get, I got a job too soon. I got it five days in. And I went to um, the World Trade Center for the first time like last week and I've been there for two, almost two years. Cause it was like, I just had, so like use that those first couple of weeks to act like a tourist. Well, cause we're lucky because mom has a timeshare. So we have a guaranteed like week of like, Oh, then just yeah, vacation then get a job there, right away. So, but yeah. if you're there, mm -hmm. but when you're there for that first week, Make sure you do all the touristy stuff. So yeah. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so that you start to love your city. Yeah. You fall in love with your city. And then it becomes a person. I plan, I plan on being a beach person, like, on the beach all yeah. the time. And it also will, your city will start to abuse you. I like it rough. And so. you're going to be like, thank you, sir, may I have another? For a long Who's time. Sir, I may have some more. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Police. <laughs> it's touching my neck. Was that Ted? It was Ted. Ted. Come get me, Teddy. Who's Ted? Mm. Somebody just, just made, made up. up oh. Welcome to comedy. You're not welcome to me to comedy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My whole life. You know? Even when I didn't oh. want to eat. I'm really good at... Oh, Damn! She ate that shit so quick. Where's your sister? She needs one too. I don't know, I'll give her mine. There you go. Thank him. I feel like everyone like likes to watch people eat a little bit. Yeah, especially like when you're about to eat too, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I like that just now. And when I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Trisha, Trisha Paytas is really fun to watch eat because she cries the whole time. I can do that too. She really is so interesting. And she has um that thing where you can pay. Oh, uh, on Patreon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she'll she does mukbangs butt naked in her bedroom. In her bed. I can do that too. But the weird part is she lives in California. So they don't sometimes I, you, I feel bitch. like Cal I feel like we're a little spoiled on the East Coast because we have bomb food. And like on the West Coast, they do mukbangs of like 7 Eleven food. Maybe that's because our food is gross, actually, here. And it's bomb over there. Oh, you think that their 7-Eleven food really, is yeah, bomb? Yeah, maybe. Like, maybe their 7-Elevens are more like our Wawa's. No, I don't think so. Because she had, like, those taquito thingies. Maybe. Are you also only going off of Trisha Paytas? Yeah, kind of. But 7-Eleven? Well, I think that... But 7-Eleven is, like, specific McDonald's. Question. So it's, like... Not McDonald's, but it's like the same everywhere you go. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think 7 Elevens on the West Coast are gonna be like the Ritz Carlton. All right, I'm done eating. Are you keep going? Oh, you're starting a new adventure. And I'm saying goodbye to my pals. Wontons. Wontons are the poor man's um, tort Macaroon? tortellini. Tortellini. A rich man's tortellini. Look how big this bitch is. Mmm. Yo, comment below if you love tortellinis. I'm about to comment below. I'm about to comment below. Mm -hmm. Tortellinis are so good. What do you have to do still to pack? You have to pack all your shit? I have shit. to pack literally everything. I haven't started anything at all. <clears throat> I'm responsible. But also you can always like have your mom mail you stuff. I can have my mom mail me stuff. Make sure you have all your like- I'm only stuff. taking my clothes and my computer. Make sure you have your my will birth certificate. We gotta find all that. your stuff, your social security number, which is 042. 
Nope, that's not it. But thank you for trying. Thank you for trying, baby boop boop. If you love fortune teams, sir, comment below. Comment please. below, please. We love her. I always, and this might be weird, but I always eat the whole cookie before I even look at this. That's weird. Because I feel like. Me too. You have to. No, you don't. You just looked at it. How does it taste, Daddy? Tastes like every fortune cookie I've ever had in my tastes life. Tastes like every other fortune cookie, Daddy? Watermelon! No, Peter's gonna love that. It's for you, Peter. Peter just called me and said he did not love that. Okay. <clears throat> By working hard, you get to play hard, guilt-free. Ain't that the motherfucking truth? Just play hard with guilt, like I do. <laughs> Determination is what you need now. Okay. For Snatch Game, I would be Jillian Michaels. And what kind of fitness plan for you? Because we are going to pump you Ooh. up. From an old SNL skit. No, not that kind of pump. You guys want to see this happening live, honey? People would pay that for that. Mm. Rob, I swear to God, people would pay to watch you. Oh, there's a cardinal outside. Aww. Is that lucky? Probably not. Comment below if you think cardinals outside are lucky. Just comment below, please. Please, please Fucking comment. Fucking comment below. <laughs> now. Happy garbage day. Happy, can we say it together? Yeah, ready? Happy, Happy garbage, garbage day. day. I feel like you got a burp in a mukbang, right? Can you burp through the mukbang? <coughs> Happy garbage day. <clears throat> Are we done? Are you done? Yeah.